How's it going guys? Zuba Jack here with another video for you guys today and uh, today we're at the, the desk, the office and we've got uh, an unboxing for you guys. This is the Nextbase uh, dash cam. Uh, a couple of videos ago I said I was looking to get a new dash cam and um, one of the uh, subs one of you guys, Stee, commented uh, said he had the one of the Nextbase ones. There's a few different variations. I've gone with the 322 um, and it's arrived so I'm going to do a little unboxing get it set up this is the SD card um, I've also got another part coming for this which is uh, a cabin attachment so basically there's an option to attach a second camera to here that focuses into the cabin and that's going to arrive in a couple of days so we can get this all set up and installed and then um, you know that will arrive in a couple of days and I'll show you guys that as well so I'm just gonna open this and uh, we can uh, get started okay you got the cellophane off so we can get this finally opened uh, oh, there's a bloody sticker I'm not gonna do this one with one end of my let me pause this uh, there we go stickers off let's get this thing opened so we've got some instructions there uh, camera here all wrapped up nicely get that open in a sec probably gonna need two hands again for that uh, this probably is the mount yeah mount we got the sticky tape let's just get it all out so that's the mount that I'm gonna use I know there's two that come with it this is the magnetic mount I believe uh, this is the suction mount, is it? No, some wires. Oh, this is the charger. Cigarette uh, like a charger. Uh, that's the suction mount there, I think. That's something to charge it with. And uh, I just dropped something on the floor. Uh, this. God knows what that is. I'm sure, we'll find out. And uh, nothing else in there? Nope. Okay. Let's move those off. So we've got uh camera, charge cable, I think for uh alternate charging to the cigarette lighter cable, which is this one. That's the suction mount, this is the uh three M magnet magnetic mount which I'm gonna use. So We'll just get the, the camera open here in the other bit. Alright, we've got them all open. So this is the camera itself. It's a really, really nice size. Not too big, which is good because it's not going to intrude when it's up on the window. Um, so you've got a few little things here. I think that's where the attachment goes. Yeah, what does it say? Uh, yeah, so that's for the camera. So pull that off and the... The other camera that I've bought with it can go in there. That's for the SD card. That's to turn it on. Um, 140 degree wide ang angle lens. And it just says here that uh, this is touch screen charge for two hours, which it also says here before use. We'll get that done now. Um, and then just the, the, the cables and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get it charged once it's charged. Uh, we'll get it installed and then uh, we'll pull some footage off it for later on today. Alright guys, so we got the camera installed into the windshield, windscreen and um, just finding the charger a second for my phone. So many fucking wires here now is a problem. Not a good wire guy, I don't like too many wires. So, like <clears throat> the videos are going ahead, I'll be able to do some of this view, some of um, the cabin view, me speaking, you know, stuff like that, and um, see how it goes. But um, just logging in now to the app, you might be able to hear the app, probably will. Hear me logging in. Uh, there we go. All logged in. 
and hopefully you get a job pretty soon. And uh, we can get going. Yep, there's one CF23. I'll take that one. It's a little bit of a drive, but I'm not too bothered because we can test out this camera. Test out my driving as well. We've got a pretty tight turn to do here. There we go. Looks pretty clean. Like I can only see, obviously, on the small camera what the um, footage looks like. So thank you very much, Steve, for the recommendation uh, on the camera. I'm happy with it. Really happy with it so far, and I'm sure I'll be even happier once uh, I can see the footage. Uh, you know, on the PC when it comes to editing. Because all my videos now, guys, you may have been able to tell. Hang on. You may be able to tell, obviously, all my videos have just always recorded on my phone. No editing or very minimal editing. Um, but, you know, we've, I've, got, I've got this now, I've got a PC, so I'm going to really get some good videos edited and uh, it'll make things much better but a bit more work for me but that's fine um, videos will be much more watchable and uh, yeah so so far so good with this uh, camera um, probably gonna shut up now and just uh, I, keep, I don't know if this is straight it's not straight is it no it's straight it's because I'm not like set, set central yeah, that's got to be straight. I didn't check any of the settings. I think I'm not sure if we're recording at 1080p uh, 30 FPS or 1080p 60 FPS. Um, 60 would obviously be the preference, um, but I'll double check that. And um, for future videos, it'll be 60 FPS. So if it is 30, I doubt maybe you could tell anyway. In all fairness, but um, let's uh, let's see how it goes. We're gonna. Uh, I'm going to stop talking now and um, we'll just uh, keep it rolling. Alright guys, we've done our first job, uh, cameras seem to be going okay, um, pretty clear picture, i got to be honest, I can see the uh, screen my side, um, I just hope it's straight, and I hope um, it's not overly bumpy, it looks quite sturdy. Hope it doesn't fall down. I think I'm gonna have to do some extra work with the with the uh, wiring, just uh, make it a bit more permanent. Maybe get some like sort of tape, uh, some, some shit like that. But uh, apart from that, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, guys, we are <coughs> done for the day. Uh, a little bit earlier than planned, but um, just uh, looking at this um, camera now, the footage, hopefully looks pretty good during the night time. So when I said it has night vision, I meant the cabin, uh, the cabin camera has night vision. It doesn't actually need night vision because of obviously the lights and, you know, blah -de blah lights on the road, like headlights, etc, uh, etc. Et but uh, you know, pretty happy with it so far. Uh, it's staying in place pretty well. 
I uh, just want to tidy the cable up a bit, ready for the um, ready for the cabin camera to be put in. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be good. I mean, it's 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 not intruding in any way. It's not super big. It's just a nice size. Um, there's a few features that I probably haven't even activated on it yet. Um, these clips as well. These 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 this video is is, is recorded in one minute clips. So I'll have to put them together, um, and hopefully they don't sound like, you know, too bad. It'll just sound like one clip, one big clip. So that's another thing altogether, though. But yeah, no, I'm really happy with it. Um, gonna learn a bit more about it. Some of the features I'm not totally clued up with uh, in relation to. There's like an SOS thing on here. There's an app uh, that you can. I'll actually check that out. That might even be the easiest way to do it with the app. Um, a load of things, load of things. But yeah, really happy with it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys on the next one. All the best.